Hello everyone, I'm Tim from Tim's PC and I build custom PCs to suit anyone's needs or budget. Also live stream my builds and repairs for transparency and educational purposes. So if you'd like to get an awesome new PC and you'd like to see it get put together live, send me a message today. Okay, so tonight we've got we've got a bit of a bit of a Lee Unley upgrade going on for for um, one customer. But we've got a little bit of extra stuff to finish up with my PC from last night. So I've been I've been bloody troubleshooting this all day. I've I've actually invested a lot of hours into this at this stage, trying to figure out what the problem is. And it basically ended in me this afternoon. I, I got the shits and I decided to reach out to to Thermal Take directly. To ask them what the hell's going on with their fans and new cooler and stuff like that and why it's not working properly because i've i've gone through it thoroughly reinstalled windows i've i've gone through and like gone and deleted like app data and other stuff that gets left behind after you uninstall the main app i've i've done everything that i can and basically as soon as as soon as windows gets partway through the install it seems to be when the graphics card drivers come online and it restarts um, from then on we don't get anything from the thermal tape software which is a bit of a problem because i've got this cooler with the addressable screen and i wanted to upload a gif or something like that onto my cooler so i'm a little bit disappointed about that and i also wanted to try out the new thermal take fans because they've got individually addressable leds so we can we can have a bit of fun with the the lighting program and how we customize them just like with corsair so that's a bit of a that's a bit of a bugger but one thing that i did forget all about last night was our streamer cable here so this is one of the one of the products that upside down. oh i've got i've got it upside down look at that <laughs> the the writing on the back is, is upside down if I've got it this way. So I was just looking at the writing on the back then. But anyway, so these streamer cables, these are the ones from a company in China called Asia Horse. And they they make, in addition to the normal style straight streamers, they also make these sexy weaved ones. So if we have a look a bit closer at the at the box there, it's got this nice weaved um, weaved effect there. So the light shines through the the weaved strands. So it looks a little bit different to your normal streamers, but it's still like an RGB I'm cable excited extender. To see these because I want to buy some from mine. Yeah, so you can get these. One thing about the the they Asian horse streamers, you can get them in white. Mm. So, hell, we might we might import a whole heap of these. Yeah. Hey, what? Hey, Queen Waffles. How you going? Good to have you with us. Okay. So the only thing that we've got to do for these is we just have to connect our RGB cables. So this is probably the only part where they're a little bit more complicated, I guess, than um, the standard Leon Lee ones. But they're also much cheaper and we'll be able to sort of import them and at a good price and they might be yeah they might be our new our new standard So what you've got to do is plug in cables on both sides. It takes as two RGB headers. And then what you want to do is you want to get a couple of cable ties just to tie them down. So it just sits nicely at the back of the cable. So this should be completely out of sight and out of mind when they're, when they're actually in the case. I can't see my pliers, so scissors will do. Yeah. Alan says a large glass table would look way cleaner in your videos. <laughs> oh no, you don't want to 
kids have a glass table. Is, is that comment for real or are you just having a joke because that's my old table? <laughs> well, I want to hope it's a joke. I'm, I'm, assuming, <laughs> I'm assuming it's a joke. Don't you like the wood? The wood gives it a homely feel. I mean, we've got a wooden, we've got a wooden um, lazy Susan there. All right, so basically, tie up your cables at the back of the strimmer. Couple of cable ties just to tie it down, and then have the the cable that goes to the motherboard there around on the um, power supply side there. So. Used to have a glass we literally table. used to have a big glass table for this. The problem is you can see everything below as well. Like you see my, you could see my legs bouncing around down there, and it wasn't very stable, so it would wobble all the time. And people actually used to complain about it, and so due to people complaining about the glass table, we we went away from the glass table. So. Just a little bit of a story there. If you go back and have a look at some of the older streams from like over 12 months ago, you will see the glass table. And so yes, I've had the I've had the RAM out. I've had I've tried everything. Different memory, bloody yeah. Cut there. All hair Oh, true. Oh, thanks for the recommendation. Cheers for that. Yeah, that was really that was really weird. Don't don't take my reaction the wrong way there, because I was I was literally we were just like what like we used to have the glass table and we. We took it away because people were complaining. So we thought you were just like, ha go back to your glass table, man. <laughs> so yeah, that's what that's what my reaction there was about. Okay, so I've got a couple of M2 drives to bring over from our last PC as well. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so basically the the problem from last night with the Thermaltake software, um, that has not been resolved. So I've, I've invested a bit of time playing around with it and I can't make it work. Next, I'm going to be recreating the problem on a different system with completely different hardware and stuff like that to take some of the other things out of the equation, the motherboard, the graphics card, etc because I've I spent a lot of time going through everything I was trying all sorts of nerdy ass things to try to fix it in terms of deleting you know deleting files there that are that are hidden in the background that you don't see normally in windows and all sorts of stuff like that just to just to try to get it working So there's our limited edition founders edition Intel Arc card, which could even be the problem. Who knows? So the weird the weird thing is that when I first when I first get Windows loaded up and I'm installing stuff, it works the first time I install it from a completely fresh install. That's what made me think that we were just we were just losing it because of um, we were just losing it because of some files there in the background that weren't deleting or that, that got corrupted in some way. But no, that was definitely not the case. Uh, 
<sighs> but yes, I have not ruled out the motherboard and I have not ruled out the graphics card. So that's tomorrow when I get on the test bench and load up the, the software and um, the devices onto the test bench and then see how that actually goes because that will be a, that'll be a pretty good indicator and then once I've checked all of that stuff um, I can pretty much assume that the problem is is on is on their end yeah no well I mean these new fans as you'll as you'll see like they are they are new fans they're the new thermal take tough fans which look awesome in my opinion like Christine wasn't a big fan of any of this, but it's been growing on her the last 24 hours. And she's she's not happy because she was so adamant that she didn't like it yesterday. She's like, I'm disgusted with myself for, for liking this now. I just like the fans, mainly. The fans are beautiful. How good are the fans? I really want to be a fan of these fans. You know? I really, really want to be a fan of them. Yeah. Hey man, how you going? Yeah. Hey Darren, how you going? The fluffy cat, he's still really fluffy. Despite my despite my complaints to him. He's around somewhere. He won't not he won't cut out the fluffiness. If we could make him cut it out. We could make him cut it out. Oh. oh, thanks, man. different thirds of the earth basically <laughs> pretty, much. pretty much not exactly but pretty much Okay. It's not what I want. I want more food. <laughs> You're a fluffy male. No, dude, no, 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 no. All empty. All empty. They're all 
from past builds. If I if I if I held if I held like heaps of stock like this, I'd go broke very very quickly because the tech industry pricing always changes, always new stuff coming out. Um, it's toxic to hold stock like this. If you come into this industry and like, oh, I'm going to buy up all this stuff and get it as cheap as I can and hold on to it, and then I'm going to be ready. <laughs> It'd be the equivalent. The equivalent would be running a um, running a shop that sells only like perishable food items and going, yeah, let's just buy up heaps of it, buy heaps of yogurt, we'll buy heaps of cheese, we'll buy a shitload of cream, and we'll buy a shitload of fresh milk, and we'll just like, then we'll be ready. And you chuck half of it out because it goes out of date. Well, in this case, it doesn't go out of date, it's not like a food item, but new stuff comes out and the price of old stuff drops. So the economics of it doesn't, doesn't stand up. So unless I had like a bit of a production line going on with a couple of employees building like, you know, 20, 30 PCs a day, which is not what I do here. Um, <laughs> it just, you, you go broke trying to hold stock like this. So this just makes a good live background here for live streaming and stuff like that. Um, I don't have to use a green screen or anything like that. Um, just adds a le level of authenticity. Though I did cop a little bit of bullshit from, from people who thought that I was like hoarding all the graphics cards during COVID and was the reason why prices were so expensive. And it was like, no dude, you, you, you're speaking to the wrong, the wrong person there. Yeah. What's up? After your rant there. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to her. After your rant there. <laughs> Fucking hell. All filled with cash. And you said, once you know, is that why a lot of small stores go out of business? Yep, 100% because they got no idea about this industry. They don't, they don't think before they think. No, 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 that's not me mad. That's just me passionate talking about my, my industry and stuff like that. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not mad. Um, I will be mad in a second though, because I think I need an extension cable. Don't, like, what is this? Cats don't appreciate sugar? sugar, basically. Nah. They they just don't have the they don't even have the taste buds for it apparently. So like they just don't they have no idea why we eat sweet things because it just does not taste the same to them. Doesn't make their brains go, ooh, that's nice and sweet. Um I'm gonna have to freaking. I'm gonna have to freaking change how I've wired these up. Mm. Unfortunately. So, yeah. Kyle says, hey, mate, how's it going? hey Kyle, how you going? Good to have you with us.
Okay, so what we're gonna have to what we're gonna have to do here. Tim, I yeah. think Luke saw your um meme earlier. Nim Nimni. Oh Nimni, yeah. Yeah, I know. I always as soon as they bought those cases out, I'm like, what Nimni? Who's that? And then I realized it was Inwin. So I got a heap of these bloody things in my head, so I'll release them periodically and you can have a laugh. Tim, Tim. Yep, what's up? What's up? Yeah, okay. No one on camera can see what I'm doing. Sorry everyone, what I'm doing right now is I'm looking for another one of these exact cables because the one that came with the the, the um, RGB cable extender is too short from the way I want to position it and run it. sale so if you if you want to buy if you want to buy my old PC yeah you can that's that's no problems it's listed on his um Facebook page isn't it yep yeah if you message me I'll do you a deal Here we go. This will work perfectly. So I've got a RGB controller here, which is addressable. Yeah. 
Hey John, how you going? Good to have you with us here as always, mate. Yeah. They're bloody awesome, that's what they are. Yes, this is the new one. And so the only reason the only reason I'm I'm getting a new one is is because um, there was a few new products that were on the market and stuff and I figured now was a good time to to go and showcase them to to people here on my page because I don't really like I don't really like making my customers the guinea pigs with new stuff. I'd rather I'd rather try it out for myself personally because it's one thing to to listen to reviews online and it's another thing to actually try it yourself in the real world. Yeah, that'll be fine. Was that? Can you read that again? Sorry, babe. Sorry. Do you know anything about how 9000 does how mean anything in particular? I know it's supposed to be IBM in 2001. I wonder if you have any thoughts. Um, do you want to message me? Um, I'll have a look. I, I might have to look that up for you. So if you're having trouble understanding something, yeah, just send me a message. And if I don't know off the top of my head, I will find out for you. Oh. It's a movie. A movie? Okay. Is that actually on there properly? Two thousand and one. The space on the sea. Yeah. Have you never seen that? No. Oh. Have you? Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Is how nine thousand? It's the computer in that. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about something like an actual thing. No. Sorry, I thought you were asking me like an actual question about something that IBM makes. And I'm like, oh, I don't necessarily know that too well off the top of my head.
Okay. So, let's have a look at this. and white, that would look so cool. So, oh wow, look at this. It's opened. No way. What? Fuck off. It's open. No. No way. <laughs> oh, that's After all the shit I went through today and then I turn it on during the live stream and it just works. <sighs> well, I guess I shouldn't complain. <laughs> Bloody hell. Well. So if I go over here to my so I can rotate the direction. Ha -ha. Well, let's just let's just test this. Let's upload a good boy. Now we have a good boy. That is so cool. <laughs> That's more like it. How good's this? I don't even... How did I even fix this? What did I do? I don't know. The only thing I can think of is I unplugged the motherboard power cable. That's something I didn't do. But but seriously, why why would you think that that your thermal take RGB software will function fine when you turn off the computer and unplug your motherboard cable. That's pretty low down there on the things to try, right? Richard wants to know about a new RGB cable. Yes, that's a new RGB cable. It is the it is the um do you wanna do you wanna hold it up? Yeah, I can't see. Okay. They're made by Asia Horse? Yes. Pretty cool. Luke says, ah. what the hell? 
wants to know the price on the cooler. The cooler, the cooler was about two. I think it was the high twos. All right, so we drag our like two hundred. Yeah. Yeah, like two ninety or something like that. It's pretty much three hundred dollars, just a little bit, a little bit less. Yep. Straight out of Brisbane comes a player like Tim. He says you're a good person to help. Thanks, man. <laughs> George says, man, you could use this rig as a plug light outdoors at RGB. It's bright as. Oh, hell yeah. These new fans, man, they are, they are absolutely wicked. So, I'm assuming that these, each one of these is our own ad individually addressable LED. So, by the time I do this, one of them should be pure red. If I, once I hit apply, yes! The top one there is pure red. Okay, so let's have some, let's have a bit of fun with this. No, which first first we need to work out which one which one's the front. So each you've got twenty-four LEDs around the the edge of each of these fans. Okay. And then we can go oh we can select all up here and we can do So can I use the mouse? <laughs> Oh yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, see, look at that fan on the front, babe. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Jared says, "Can you click and drag to do multiple?" That's what I. That's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see if I could um copy, paste. No, copy paste keys don't work. Just chuck them back to default there. But yes, each of those LEDs are individually programmable. And same with same with our same with our RAM. We've got we've got five LEDs in each of our RAM sticks. Yep. And select all and just default them back to, to normal there. And yeah, our our cooler it just has the addressable screen. That's the main thing that we that we want. But my good boy's gone away. The good boy's gone away.
Yeah, it's weird. It's a little bit feels a little bit buggy, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, that'd be right. Okay, so we can sync them all together. Alright. No, I will have I'll have a bit more of a in-depth play around with this app now that I've now that I can actually use it. Alright. For now. Okay, so I, trust it. I know, right? It's scary. Alrighty, so what have we got here in terms of specs? I'm going to go through the specs here for anyone who wanted to wanted to see what I upgraded to. So I went from a 12700KF to an i5-13600KF. Now you might be going, oh, why, why have you downgraded? Well, it's actually not really a downgrade. It's actually a sideways step. I really didn't need more than a 20-thread CPU, and I've actually gone up two cores. So the, the old i7, not really old, the, the 12th gen i7 has 12 cores and 20 threads. Now the, the i5 13th gen has 14 cores and 20 threads. So an absolute weapon of a CPU here. Memory there, we just got 16 gigabytes. I, I don't I don't really I don't really game at 4K. Don't really need to. Or if I do it's like Command and Conquer re reloaded or whatever it is remastered, remastered or whatever. And then it's we've got the we got the we got the Intel Arc A750 graphics. So not a card that I'm recommending to other people just yet. It's brand new. It's going to have some bugs. And like I was saying last night, just you might you might be looking these up online and go, oh, the reviews are really bad. Their shit, fucking Intel's shit, blah 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 blah. I would, I would sort of um, just hear me out on what you're saying there. I would probably refrain from calling them shit, just because graphics cards are a market that's really lopsided in terms of share. And when you have a market that's lopsided, it's completely dictated by the one that has the most market share in terms of pricing. Whatever they whatever they follow, the rest of the market le um, follows the leader. What, however they lead, I should say, the rest of the market follows. And basically having more competition in the market, so a third player making graphics cards. If you're a fan of cheaper graphics cards and you think the price is ridiculous right now, you should be absolutely cheering someone like Intel entering the market. So yeah, maybe they've got some they've got some early early adopter issues. They they've they've got some work to do with um, their graphics cards. Of course they will. It's their first iteration of them. First generation Ryzen was horrible compared to where it ended up. So don't don't be so quick to judge. Don't be so quick to knock to knock them. I'm not selling them to anyone yet. That someone has to actually come to me and request one for themselves. Um, if we're going to use one because right now I don't see enough I don't see enough of a justification to go with this over an RTX 3060 for most customers so just to give you an idea of, of, of that but before we before we get started on the Leon Lee for tonight I just wanted to show everyone where this little i5 actually sits compared to some other CPUs Eight hundred and thirty two single core performance. All right, so we'll click submit and compare, and that's going to take us over to the CPU Z validator website. All righty, so as we can see. 13600KF outperforming i9 12900KF, 12900K, 12700KF, so my old CPU there. It's gone up all the way to there. We're even beating a Ryzen 9 7950X with our i3. If we go over to multi-core. 
12 cores, 20 threads. We're we're beating we're beating the the i7 there from last generation. So even though even though we've gone from an i7 to an i5 here, I've still got the better performing chip in both multi-core and single-core performance. So for me, there was no point in spending extra for this generation's i7, which is basically equivalent to last generation's i9. We go over 24 threads here. We should have the 12900K. So yeah, there's the there's the multi-core of the of the 12900, and we've got the 13700K, which is beating them. Have we got the um, 13900K over here? Yes, yes we do. So 13900K even beating out the Ryzen. However, it'll be sitting there at 100 degrees to achieve that. Though I think the 7950X also sitting up there, up at like 90 plus degrees to, to achieve that score there as well. So it's not like it's not like either of these results. See how see how there's like a curve and then see how it's like deviated there. That's just a reflection of how much power they're running through these CPUs for the benchmarks. It's all about smashing those benchmarks. This is where AMD this this was where AMD cared about power efficiency, and now they just don't give a fuck about that anymore. <laughs> Alrighty, so was that? I think that's pretty much all I wanted to wanted to do. I've moved over all of my all of my drives, so we've got our main SSD there. We've got our our. 2 terabyte SATA SSD and my two other NVMe SSDs. And we've got our XMP profile on. So the final thing I can do here to show you guys a little bit about this system. So the main SSD that I've got now is a ninth gen sorry, a um fourth generation NVMe SSD. And it's a crucial P5. And so because it's crucial, we can use their software to massively speed up our NVMe SSD. Momentum cache. On our 500 gigabyte drive. We'll enable momentum cache. So what this does is this is this is nice software that, that Crucial has for, for their SSDs and it actually allows you to use your memory to speed up your SSD. So if I had DDR5 in this, my my speeds would be faster. But we'll restart quickly and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So it will be faster than like a Samsung um, 990 Pro with this. But, but Samsung, I'm pretty sure Samsung has some software like this that can also use the system memory to speed up RAM. Sorry, speed up NVMe SSD. Sorry about that. Sorry, misspoke. I know what I'm talking about. I'm sure. <laughs> okay, so let's test our first drive here. So it's, this is our drive that we've enabled Momentum Cache on. Oh, what's happened there? Look at that speed there. 11,900, 12,800. Ridiculous. 
and thermal take software not working again now? No. Nah. <laughs> Damn, that's weird. And so yeah, this is basically the power of momentum cache. So this is a crucial P5 Gen 4 NVMe SSD. And we've got 3600 MHz RAM installed. So just DDR4, we'd get even faster speeds probably with DDR5. Now even those write speeds, very, very respectable. There you go. Okay, well, let's shut this one down. So that's very weird what, what it did there in terms of what seemed to make it get fixed. Okay, alright, so this next one is, is an upgrade, so basically we're doing, we're doing a case upgrade here, so we're going to be pulling out a lot of the stuff from this case, and we're going to be putting it into a D11 case. But one thing about it is I don't think this guy's got enough bands, so... might become a problem later on. But of course we can install extra fans if we have to. Fluffy now. Alright, so this one here is going to be a bit of a ROG inspired rig. So we're coming out of a Fantex case. This looks like another person who's gone to, who's bought a PC and then gone to, gone to upgrade it and then realised that, oh, it really should get a whole new case and, and all that and then it just starts spiralling out of control in terms of the work that you got to do. And then you see all the nicely built Leon Lee Dynamic 11s and you're like, oh, I just want that for myself. Okay, so there's our ROG Strix RTX 3080. So this is the same this is the same graphics card that's in my old rig. 
And believe me, because I just don't have time to game while I'm running this business, um, it's probably one of the least worked 3080s that you'll, that you'll find. In terms of a used 3080, it's basically been used as, as a display adapter and it's run a few benchmarks sometimes. That's about it. So it's, it's never, it's never been, it's never been used intensively for gaming. It's never been overclocked. None of that stuff. It's just literally been sitting there and all that. And that's why I decided to make myself a guinea pig for the new Intel cards and give them a whirl because it's not like I'm really gaming anyway. So when I do um, load up some games in them and see how it, see how it runs, um, I'm not going to be complaining or losing any sleep if, you know, the frame rate in Warzone's not very good, you know, it's not going to bother me. Whereas if I recommend it to someone and that's what they want to play and, and it's not very good, then it's my fault for suggesting something that's not very good. And we don't want to do that. So yeah, always, always better if someone like me can actually give it a go before I recommend it to a customer. Because like I said, you know, you can, you can sort of, you can guess with some things and you can, you can assume that some things are going to be okay in terms of new products, but you really, you really can't assume a lot. And the more that the more things that you assume, the more likely you're going to get screwed over by your assumptions, basically. Okay. Do you want to strip down that case, babe? The Leon Lee one? Yeah, so yeah, all we're doing here is, is we're just going to remove all the hardware that's in this case and we're going to move it over to the other case. And so we've got a we've got another cooler here with an addressable screen. Fluffy Mao. Stop being fluffy, mate. You're getting fur everywhere and you've got to cut it out. Immediately. Cut it out or you go to your room. Who remembers that stuff? Turn the bloody lights off! Who's the light on for down there? Mr. Nobody, go and turn the light off! Who remembers that? I remember that. Oh, I'm just saying who remembers yeah, being yelled at by your mum or your dad about lights being on when you are a kid back when back when lights were like 
60 watt for like a medium intensity light bulb. Now we got LED lights. Yeah, you better run, Charles. Does this bit come off? No. No, that panel can just pop off. Yeah. It just pops off. Oh, I see. And then the glass slides up, doesn't it? Yeah. No, there's two screws there. pull off like the, the back panel does, but there's a screw there to stabilise it. Well, a bit of electrical tape around the 5 volt RGB, that's, that's one of my tricks. <laughs> Convergent evolution. Another PC builder. What is this magic? Oh, fuck. Pulls off like the other ones. Oh. <laughs> I told her she might have to go back to school. <laughs> Okay, so what are these fans? Alpenjohn. What? Alpenjohn. German engineered made in China. I <laughs> love it. Oh. Alpha and John. It's a picture of. I think it's Alpin. Alpha and John. Okay. Oh, can I have that screwdriver, babe? We need... We need all of the Z's. Alf and John. Alf and Von! But that's totally how it is, right? 
That's how you say it, I'm assuming. I took German for a tiny amount of time when I was younger. So that means I can speak fluent German. No. Right? Right? No. No? 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 No German for me? No. Just stop. <laughs> We're allowed to pay out on Germany because of, you know, Germany. <laughs> well. We're allowed to pay out on Germany because Germany. Yeah. Everyone pays out on us. We're Australian. We're the laughing stock of the world. Well, America's kind of the laughing stock of the world, but see, it's just more serious with Americans. They, they, they take everything real serious. We're a bit more laid back here, but yeah, we're the butt of all jokes. Half the people in the Northern Hemisphere don't even believe Australia exists. <laughs> yeah, I know. Which is kind of fucking weird. Mm-hmm. Like it's flat earthers. Yep. We're all actors. Where's my fucking money then? <laughs> if I'm an actor, where's my money? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Now. Now. Okay. Now we can start on doing these. So when when BIOS babe's got a second, I'll get her to message this guy. Because we've only got we've only got six fans that appear to be RGB here. But there's no other ones. It's like I can install some black ones. That's fine. Yeah. But he's still short one for the back. Not that you need the one at the back, it's just ornamental. Can you hold the radiator once I undo these fan bolts? I need to go to bed soon because I have to get up out. <laughs> Early for you. Yes. Oh, 
<laughs> so easy to scare you. Hard drive was just sitting in there. Mm -hmm. Yep, and no, um, no screws. Oh yeah, we're making a huge mess back here. <laughs> oh no, the whole thing's like broken. Bloody hell. Um Bit of a bit of a scratch in the radiator there. Damn. Yeah, you're not meant to knock that. So what motherboard is that? Ouch. Is that a B550 <laughs> Strix? Yes. B550 dash F gaming Wi-Fi. Yeah, 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 yeah. So B550? Yep. Um, damn it. Dash F Gaming. So if anyone's got, anyone's got a, um, any oh, thoughts no. as to why? Oh, no. Have you accepted the um, the cookies? It's not the dash two, is it? Yeah. Oh yeah, it is two. It, it is, is dash two. Yeah, yeah. I see. I see. All right. Once we free this power supply. And get this case out of the way. Yep. 
sweet. Okay, that's, in, that's the included controller. Front panel audio. Okay, what the fuck's happened here? All right. Okay, I could, I could fix, I could fix this. We could fix this case. Yeah, we can fix this case. Yeah, it's a shit SSD. Just leave it, it'll be fine. It sometimes it has a SPAC and just stops working for like 20 seconds and then it starts again. That's the kind of SSD we're talking about there. <laughs> it does its thing. It doesn't do your thing, it does its thing. I can, I can definitely fix, fix this, however, I cannot pay much for it. Alright, well yeah it's a Fantex case, it's not a bad case. not as sexy as the Leon Lee. So was there free, was there extra fans here? Yes there is. Okay, so I, got, I do have some extra fans here. So we've got six RGB fans, so they're going to go on the radiator and on the wall. And then we'll put these other fans here on the bottom. So we got some Noctura brand fans. So they're, they're just plain black, they're not the brown Noctura fans. But we'll go ahead and we'll use them. And then we've got five and six over there. Sweet as, alrighty. Well, first things first, let's turn our attention over here to the cooler. So we've got we've got the addressable screen. So I'm thinking I'm thinking this way will probably be better. We've also got a ROG Strix going in here, so yeah. 
definitely want to keep that one a little bit cooler. Um, so yeah, we'll mount, it, we'll mount it this way. It's a bit better. And so when we mount our fans, we just got to make sure that the cables are in the right direction. We don't want any cables sticking around on the front side. And all of these bolts, they can just go straight back in to our radiator. Uh, oh, there's my screwdriver. So that'll work out, that'll work out well. And we've got some good fans to go on the bottom as our main air intake fans. Because with our Leon Lee cases, as you're probably aware, if you've seen a few of them, the bottom of the case is where the, where the cool air comes in. The fans on the wall and on the back are kind of irrelevant. They're sort of just there for show. You got three on the bottom, three on the radiator. You've got an airflow dynamic like this. Okay, so what you want to do with your fans on the wall is you want to you want to go and unclip the RGB and the the actual fan, so the cables are uh, coming out at the back because we're going to mount these fans here on the side wall and we don't want to. We don't want to see any of those cables on the front side of our case. Plenty of room for cables and stuff back here on the back side of the case. And the, the idea with doing a D11 build is you don't see any cables on the front side of the case. And everything else back here can just be tied back behind, these cape, behind this panel here. So you don't need to use 10 million zip ties or anything like that. You can just, you just put it together strategically and then it just all just ties down and goes behind that panel there at the back. So yeah. Xavier says what's up. Hey Xavier, how you going? Good to have you with us. Oh really? That's great. That is great. Some people think it's therapeutic watching a PC get built. So, I totally get that.
Okay, final one for the wall. Like I said, just unclip the, the cable so it's just sticking out at the back. It's the best way to do it. Okay. And then I recommend just so just to help minimize the chance of these cables getting stuck in the, the fan. It doesn't work a hundred percent because you know randomness. Entropy. <laughs> the pre -month since the child bath awaken and I want it to go back. I want it to go back to sleep because it's 4 a.m. and I can't be bothered to deal with the screaming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yep, totally get it, man. Okay, so that's our back plate there, so we remove that. So that's where our power supply goes. This is where our hard drive goes. We'll probably deal with the hard drive straight up. This time we're definitely screwing down our hard drive. There we go. And so that's where our hard drive is. That little, little cage at the back there. There we go. So our radiator gets mounted to the top there and we've just got our fans to go on the bottom. So these are our Noctura fans. So these particular fans go upside down, 
because they're in the intake position. What was that? Nearly there. See, this is probably the hardest part about doing one of these builds, is just screwing in all the fans, right? What's wrong, babe? Okay, and just like those back fans, if you just do a single cable tie around your three fans at the bottom there, it'll just make it look a little bit neater. It's not essential because usually all that stuff at the bottom is kind of concealed just by the height of the actual fans. Okay, so time to get our motherboard in the case. Lay it down, 
What have we got here? We've got some, got some cables coming off. Yeah, cooler. And just like the other three, just so you don't have any cables sagging down below the height of your fans on the radiator, just put another cable tie firmly around the six cables. Come, oh, don't drop it. Okay, so we used we used long bolts for this last time in the last case, so I'll need some extra ones of these style bolts. Luckily I've got a heap that I prepared earlier. Babe, if you've got a headache, why don't you go back? To, why don't you go to bed? If you've got a headache. Okay.
There we go. Okay. Oh, I don't even have bolts in our motherboard yet. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. Okay, there we go. So what have we got over here? We have some RGB splitter cables it looks like. So we have to daisy chain these in together. You alright babe? You can go to bed. That's what I just said. Alright, we got one triple splitter here. How many fan headers do we have on this board? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so what the hell was that? Screw. Where the fuck did where did that come from? Where did that go? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you oh no! No no! <laughs> you need to stop that right now. <laughs> you just stop laughing right now.
Yeah. Yeah. No, definitely not full of parts. <laughs> As I explained at the start, that's how you go broke. <laughs> oh man, I thought I had a freaking little extender that I could plug into this splitter. Oh, here it is. Hey, hey. No, I'm not even going to be able to use that one there. What a pain. Okay, so now we should have enough fan headers back here to, to make this all happen. One. Two. And three. So there's our three fans there on the side. And we've got our three plugged in down the bottom there.
Oh, no USB-C on this motherboard. This is a, this is a cheaper old Strix board. This ain't a Hero Maximus. USB 2 there from our addressable screen on the cooler. We got our front panel audio down the bottom there. Oh wow. So we don't even have we don't even have five volt addressable RGB for this. Damn. So I'll have to hook it up by USB 2 and all by that controller. Now I'm not just being blind here am I? I don't have another one of those cables. Alright, I guess I'll use this one. It's a bit long, but that's alright. Oh, we'll have to control all this with Armory Crate. That'll be fun, won't it? Oh no, wait, I'm an idiot. I've already plugged in the addressable 5 volt. Uh, I'm looking down the bottom there at that single header. And I'm just like, oh, it won't even be able to address it. Is there any advantage to having our RGB hooked up through this controller? I think we just need it for our um, our pump. We can hook everything else up directly to the motherboard.
Yeah. Hey Nicholas, how you going? Good to have you with us. All the way from America land. Did I what? Blood Fresh Supply. Haven't heard of that one. It's a joke too. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm like a nerd. So you have to like give me like the the nerd buffer to understand and get jokes. <laughs> they always told me I don't know how to take a joke. Okay, so... We can keep most of that RGB up the top there. I want to leave it... I want to leave it more or less accessible. Just in case one of those connectors come loose. tie those three RGB cables off together up there. these three off around here. It's one thing that people don't seem to understand is that sometimes the cheapest thing isn't necessarily good value. Okay, so So this is just a power cable. Okay. So I think all we need that box for is to power the the pump, it seems. And then all the rest of this stuff, this all just gets tied down behind our power cables and stuff. Okay, well, that's all taking shape. Let's get a few more bolts in the board. And we'll start hooking everything up. Not that we haven't already been hooking stuff up, but I meant power cables and stuff. Because that's the thing about building a Leon Lee build. You get all the other cables in place first, and then you tie down the power cables at the end, and then you stick the controllers to that back plate there. So take it from someone who's done a fair few of these before, that is generally the best way to, to build these things. 
Same with the, the fan orientation that we've got here. Cool air coming in the bottom. Don't have cool air coming in there because if you did that, you'd have to have the fans around the other way. And then it doesn't look as good. Whereas three fans upside down at the bottom, that doesn't look too bad at all. And I mean, these are all nice and uniform. They're all sort of um, facing the same direction there. So that all should be pretty good. Okay. So power supply time. Okay. What's this cool moon? Oh no, Superflower. One of those other decent quality Chinese power supply manufacturers. So make sure that your power supply has the fan facing the panel because if not your power supply will overheat and you will have a very bad time with that because when your power supply overheats it will shut itself off to stop it from catching fire and all that and in the meantime you won't be able to turn your computer back on. So what will happen is you'll think that your computer's just completely died on you and then for 10 minutes you'll have like a bit of an anxiety attack about it you'll be freaking out and then eventually you'll realise that no 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 it was all okay What's up? I thought you said something. This one here, um, well, it was originally in a Fantex case, and we've just moved it. We've moved it over here. You, you probably mean from the power supply being a being a Superflower power supply, because that, that that's their that's their main distributor, right? If I'm if I remember correctly. See, PC Case Gear is Melbourne, and while I do buy some some stuff from PC Case Gear, because they're like basically the biggest parts retailer in in the country um i'm in brisbane so i do i do try to support the, the local economy up here so you know where possible if i can get if i can get stuff from leader wholesale which is a very big wholesale distributor up here in queensland if, if i can get some stuff from them or umart or piece or um computer alliance or scorp tech at ting galper at their new store i'll aim to to deal with those those companies there the ones that are in in the local area and in part of the local economy you know the people who are paying other people in my state and all that i'm a bit um utilitarian i think is the word for all, all that sort of stuff. I'm a big believer in all that, it's being a small business owner myself. Okay. So we got these freaking cables here. These can be a bit of a pain to get right. Yep. Yep. You can, you can just tell, you can just tell it's PC case gear from that. Yeah, fair one. Because I don't, I don't think, um, I don't think aftershock use it, and I don't think, I don't think PLE use it. Senecom, it's just PC case gear, I think. Uh, 
Okay. We got our makeshift triple adapter there. For our rod Strix. Okay, so that is all looking pretty good. It's now time to chuck in our graphics card and get everything all installed and make sure it's all working right. So we don't have to do a full Windows install here. Because I'm assuming, I'm assuming we've got some sort of an M2 SSD in there. Yes, we do. Nothing in the bottom slot. Um, we want a serial ATA cable, aka a SATA cable. Graphics card time. Always chuck those pin protectors back on your graphics card when you've got it out of the case. You don't want anything to short out. You don't want it getting scratched or anything like that. Because you will have a very bad time if it gets scratched. No, it's like, I think the other one that it's, that's really similar to it is Cool Moon. Super Flower and Cool Moon are both Chinese companies. And I believe, so I don't know how much you guys know about like manufacturing and stuff like that. But in general, if you own a factory in China, the rationale is you need that thing running 24 hours a day, seven days a week, absolutely churning out the stock. If not, it's not efficient, it's not efficient and it's not profitable enough to justify the expense of having it. And basically what that means is you'll have a factory that produces power supplies using like really good quality components and everything like that. They make power supplies for the major brands. But as soon as those major brands don't want any more, they need other customers to keep churning out those power supplies. Boom, 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 24 seven. That's what they want. And companies like um, Superflower, they're the fill-in. They're the ones that they'll, that they'll produce to keep the factory running longer hours, etc. There you go, there you go, you are you are a hundred percent right there, dude. 
Okay, well, let's let's fire it up now and see how she see how she goes. Make sure, we're gonna make sure that we get our screen working properly on our on our cooler. I don't I can't remember what Jack said. I think he was having some sort of trouble with it or something. Well, we can have a look at that. Had problems with freaking coolers with addressable screens all fucking day today, haven't I? Okay, okay. Oh no, there's there is oh shit, there's one there's one thing I forgot to hook up. <laughs> Front panel. Bloody hell. That's better. And... All right, so we'll do a BIOS update on this thing. Go over to our tools, our easy flash three utility go down to our 15 gigabyte two eight oh six we've already got two eight oh six on here oh. we're already up to date how good's that So, what was the pin number here? Let it do its disk checking. Let it let it do its thing here, and, and we'll get up 
into windows and go from there. So, just FYI Jack, if you have any issues with like one of the RGB fans stop sliding up, you got your three RGB connectors tied down there so they're accessible and the other three are up there. So they're just sort of sticking out like that just so that they're accessible. The rest of the stuff can just get tucked away back here. And yes, that's what I mean by the Leon. you've got to swap out a fan, it becomes a freaking nightmare. So what I try to do is do it so it's wired up and it's easy to work on in the event that you have to. All right, so. Hopefully we don't have porn on the background, no. It'll happen one day. Okay, armory crate. Everything's all up to date here. Well, oh, geez, look at all this stuff that's starting up automatically. You might want to review all this, what stuff's coming on automatically. I don't think you I don't think you really need all that. Okay, so we've got some updates. We've got some updates for all this stuff.
is this? Okay, that's all up to date. We just got that final one there from Armory Crate. And that should be pretty much it. Alrighty, so we'll go and restart. Alrighty, that's all looking pretty good.
Oh wait, wasn't there like, wasn't there something else that came with this? Oh god, there's, there's a ROG graphics card holder. <laughs> And we got streamers as well. Damn. Completely forgot about this stuff. That's annoying. Because I thought I was done. <sighs> Jesus, how much did you pay for this? Oh my See, god. Yeah. Emily says, I, hey Emily, how you going? A ROG graphics card holder. <laughs> oh, God. Graphics card holders are sort of a... Sort of a scam. You don't really need them. Okay. Everyone thinks you need them, but yeah, it's definitely something. If you're looking at, if you're just looking at bare necessities, like Jack probably wants this just for the sake of it, um, filling up the space. But you don't need it like for your graphics card. See the the area that gets the area that actually gets um, bent on the graphics card is that bit of aluminium at the back. So you can always just bend that back into place if you notice your graphics card sagging. Or bend it back into place plus a little bit. And that will also get rid of it. Some people freak out, they think it's the actual card bending. That's not. The fact that people call it graphics card sag doesn't certainly doesn't help. Okay, strimmers, V2s. Well, these are actually the revision of the of the V1s. The V1s kind of suck.
Okay.
Okay, we're nearly there.
Okay. Bloody hell. Help if I didn't freaking forget the streamers. Okay, so the only thing it's not lit up is that graphics card holder. Okay, so I wonder, it's hooked up through the controller, but I wonder if it's just not gonna not gonna power that properly. You'd think if you hooked up a rog thing to a, a rog thing it'd work, but you know, perhaps not. Oh well, that's okay, um,
That's okay. I'll I'll have to get another um I'll have to get another splitter for it or something. That's a bit of a pain in the ass. But it looks like it looks like it's just not gonna power up through that ROG controller. Change the port on it. I mean, you'd think it'd work. One thing you will need that I will have to install is just the Leon Lee controller. Alright, so that's all working fine. Sweet as. So, did alright. Just got that just got that bloody graphics card holder to get get fired up. Oh but yeah, I'm getting pretty tired. So my moderator's already gone, so I'm sorry if you're trying to talk to me.